Hello, my name is uh, Stéphane Zuilly. I'm a young cardiologist uh, in the Nancy University Hospital in France. And for the second year, I'm so pleased to be here to interview the stars of cardiology in order to have a relation and an interaction between young cardiologists and our mentors. And uh, today, I'm so happy to be here with Professor Crébier, who is the pioneer of TAVI all around the world and who was the chief of the Department of Cardiovascular Disease in Rouen, in France. So, Professor Crébier, um, if you don't mind, I would like to ask you my first question. Why did you choose medicine? Well, actually, uh, first of all, thank you for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, my, uh, my choice of uh, medicine uh, started a very long time ago. I think I was nine years of age and uh, I already decided to become a doctor uh, just because um, I had read a number of books uh, touching the field of medicine at that time and I was very much impressed by uh, the authors like Cronin and, uh, and some, some other people, novels in medicine and so I, I was extremely impressed by that. So uh, I think my orientation to medicine uh, uh, started at nine years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, impressive. Yeah. And why did you choose cardiology later on? Well, this, this came a little later, but uh, I was very much impressed also because I have seen uh, when I was, uh, I would say, 14, 15 years of age, some uh, documentary on the first uh, cardiac surgery um, intervention. And uh, I was so much impressed of that that uh, immediately I had the feeling that uh, my field would be a cardiac surgery. Actually, I wanted to become a cardiac surgeon immediately. I was very much impressed. I wanted to copy what I had seen. And, uh, and uh, finally, uh, during my medical studies in Paris, uh, immediately I selected the uh, Department of Cardiology as my first uh, place of stay. And uh, I was absolutely convinced that uh, this was the right field for me. Okay, and have you been a good student at that time? Well, actually, in medicine, I was, uh, I was, uh, I would say, yes, a good student as far as the exams are uh, concerned, but also I was uh, really fascinated to spend extra time in uh, many departments of cardiology and mainly cardiac surgery. So uh, I spent more than uh, uh, the regular time in hospital since the very first year of medicine. Okay, and did you have... Um, mentor that inspired you during all your professional life? Yes, of course, I had mentors. You know, we all have mentors and uh, we want to copy them. Well, my first, uh, the first one, uh, as far as I'm concerned, was uh, Professor Dubost, uh, who was uh, one of the uh, greatest surgeon, uh, cardiac surgeon at the time in Hospital Brousset. So I spent uh, uh, three years in Hospital Brousset working uh, with him as an as instrumentist. And I was so impressed by uh, this uh, extraordinary work uh, that he was doing, you know, he was a pioneer in the field of uh, valvular uh, re valve replacement and uh, many, many other interventions. So I, wa I was really fascinated by him and he was very much encouraging. And uh, later on I met uh, Alain Carpentier, uh, who, with whom I, I have a kind of friendship now, but uh, uh, I was really fascinated by this uh, his parkour. You know, uh, I met him when he was uh, just a fellow at, at the uh, Hospital Brousset in Paris, and then I, I have been following his career. And uh, I must say that I uh, I try to follow, you know, his example all the time. Yeah. Okay. And uh, have you been abroad during your training? in a different country uh, in order yeah. to... Sure, uh, this was uh, probably one of the most important step uh, in, uh, in my uh, studies. You know, I spent uh, uh, a little more than one year uh, in Los Angeles at the uh, Cedar Sinai Medical Center, which, which is a very well-known center, uh, uh, extremely uh, aimed at developing uh, new devices. You know, innovation is a big part of the work in the, in the research building, uh, building in, uh, in Cedar Sinai. And then I, uh, I have been working there with uh, Dr. Swan and Dr. William Gantz. Uh, we were at the top of innovation in cardiology, so I was uh, really fascinated. And they, they teach me uh, all the, uh, the the main uh, concept of research in the medicine, clinical research, experimental research, and so on. And when I came back to France, uh, I was full of these messages, and I tried to reproduce this uh, experience uh, to the other. And do you think that uh, going in a different country is very important for young cardiologists? Uh, this is absolutely fundamental. I think uh, absolutely uh, crucial for all the uh, medical students who are interested in uh, um, 
having some kind of academic situation in the future, uh, being involved in research, you know, and uh, uh, also uh, for the purpose of uh, learning English, which is extremely important uh, today. Uh, so I think that a minimal uh, period of time of one year, uh, either uh, in the United States or uh, in uh, in the UK, for example, is very, very crucial. It's very important, and I am pushing all my students to do that, at least when I, I have the feeling that they want to have some career uh, at the university university or in the academic position. Okay, and what do you think is the more important thing you have accomplished during your, during your professional life? Well, if you say uh, the most important thing was definitely to pioneer uh, Tavi, because we know today that after 10 years, you know, 10 years after the first case, uh, this is a real big success. There is a little number of interventional cardiology procedures that did survive 10 years and keep developing after 10 years like it is today. We have more than 50,000 patients implanted and uh, uh, at this meeting, for example, you have seen the number of uh, sessions dedicated to Tavi. But just before that, uh, I had the privilege of developing something else, which was a balloon uh, dilatation of the aortic valve for the treatment of aortic stenosis. It was also a big success. But uh, in fact, after two years, three years, uh, we did realize that the uh, uh, risk stenosis of the valve was very frequent. And uh, this led me to uh, think about a device that could uh, uh, solve the issue of valvular risk stenosis, and then came the TAVI. So the, the whole things are absolutely correlated. And uh, uh, I would say that my work on the, uh, the treatment of uh, calcific, uh, calcific degenerative aortic stenosis started in 85 with the first world case of balloon dilatation, which was also uh, spread out in the world, and then TAVI uh, in 2002, after a long period of uh, research and development. Okay, and what is the greatest advice you can give to a young cardiologist starting his professional life? Well, many advices, you know, but uh, first of all, uh, I, uh, I think that the selection of the, of the good specialty is extremely important. So they have to be open and to, to go from one department to another uh, to try to understand exactly what is very interesting for them. Now, uh, they, they have to, be, to have an early idea of their career. You know, they can go to private, they can stay at the hospital, they can uh, uh, wish to have an academic position, you know. So uh, this has to be built very early uh, in, uh, in the training. And and uh, be open uh, to uh, everything and uh, if they have some good idea, something that they believe would be a good idea, they have to really work on that and be very courageous uh, and uh, uh, try to do their best you know, to convince people and to, uh, to progress. So uh, this is a kind of ideology uh, which is uh, starting quite early, you know, just uh, in the fourth or fifth year of medicine. They have to know what they want to do and they, uh, they, they have to decide what kind of career they want to have, well, uh, uh, what would be the best way to exert medicine for them, and then uh, be very open, go to the meeting, you know, uh, try to uh, read the, new, the papers, the articles, and uh, be very, very aware of what's going on, you know, and find their position and try to do something new, if possible. Okay, Professor Kebier, it was a, I was so happy to be here today with you. Thank you it was a pleasure, and thank you so much for the inspiring interview. Thank you it's so much. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.